uh, some of those people don't know that they can go to school and achieve some goals. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there's no one to assist them any further. Some people have uh, maladies and mental health issues and so forth. I don't call ever, I don't call poverty a mental health issue. I call it a communications issue where you don't, you're not able to communicate with others at the point of your need. And you need a lot of prayer. You need prayer fellowship in order to get you over those things. My name is Bishop Claudia Humphrey. They call me pastor. Uh, some have even called me reverend. Um, it, the work is for Jesus Christ. Did you know that? Did you know that I'm working for Jesus Christ and my goal is to serve him? Thank you. Now when the classes start up again for the spring session, uh, it won't look so quiet. It's a Friday today, and you can see the poster board over there shining through, resonating all the news. Glendale College has to present the bookstore and the, the uh, cafeterias and security areas. Lots of parking over above this building here back over the top of that and uh, the gymnasium uh, oh there's the administration building first of all let's talk about that administration building and then let's scan over here a little bit to the um, gymnasium and the San Gabriel building and then between those trees right there down in that area is the music building. You can't see it right from here, but I spent a lot of time in there uh, working uh, with the Sound and Music crew. And Al Dennis was the uh, director at that time. Uh, we did Rogers and Hammerstein's Sound of Music. I played the Reverend Ma Mother Abbas in 1980, and they put me in the Glendale Ledger and in the... Uh, Glendale Press for that, and also the Verdugo News. Can you persuade me without corruption that there are still opportunities for a person like me today? Having taken measures to uh, keep my life together, keep my credits together, touch all bases and so forth, go the limits of my abilities. Um, can you uh, reach out and say there's no corruption on your end that you would receive me at any level of my experience or skills or higher? That I won't have to be involved in any criminal acts, that I won't have to be any subterfuge or against the law in any way. Do you consider that uh, what I've already done was required? I had to do certain things to get certain places. And, um, you know, Cal, um, not Cal State, but here, I took Cal State uh, swim class, but I, here I took the uh, jogging class, and they did a 10K run. And uh, also at uh, Pasadena City College, I started out in the swim program, and I swam um, in their Olympic pool, and also at uh, Los Angeles City College until 2006. That's sick. I'm used to being active. But I find that the response is, well, you need to do more. I don't think so. Uh, uh, if your medical review was wrong or they didn't tell you right when you were 20 years old and you adjust yourself uh, with great measure beyond that, and then you find out that you're um, near retirement or in retirement and they're telling you what uh, you should have done and it wasn't what you were given, uh, then you have to review. Uh, maybe I don't really want to go to the doctor because um, they told me one thing, and I'm, I lived by the grace of God through all that without having the real information on what I need to do. So, again, I say, um, is there corruption involved in what you are asking me to pursue in order to achieve my goal? And then at some point, I will go back to fashion to uh, keep myself up generally, to keep up with uh, today's um, uh, decent and in order, uh, you know, dress right, dress as much as possible. Which brings out another uh, point of cultures. Um, the Asian women who wear pants and a tunic over their uh, pants. And uh, the, uh, the Arabic, the Eastern uh, Middle East, People who wear skirts, they still wear skirts, 
long uh, dresses as well as other varied type clothing. So um, we want to talk some at some measure about that biblically as we go along. This is a uh, necessity, a mother of invention. I'm working on this poverty mouth. This is the next thing I'm doing, uh, which has nothing to do with the ministry. It's uh, about poverty and people who uh, have to, out of necessity, do certain things. And I'm using myself as a demonstration of that, as I do in many of my issues about the poverty situation, the bags, the packing, the taking on the bus, and so forth. Just the distance, showing the distance that we have to go uh, to... Uh, say what it is really that we're going through. I know there are also other expressions on the news and stuff where people are ripping people off, claiming to be poor, and then uh, they see them in another expression. They're not really poor after all. But there's plenty of evidence and plenty of truth about what people go through, including medically in poverty. After many attempts to prove what my situation is, I come back to Glendale College once again. Singing as I go, I've been many miles since 1979 when I first came here. I'm Bishop Claudia Ann Goodwin Humphrey. I took two years of general studies here at Glendale College and then uh, transferred with scholarship to Cal State LA where I got a master's in choral conducting in 1983. Can you choose your angels? Last night I was weary and lonely. The world seemed a desolate place. So I wandered afar, fixed my eyes on a star in search of a friendly face. The bells had just Told midnight when the rustling wings of silence spoke. In the shadows I beheld a vision, and my lips trembled as I spoke. I talked to God last night high on the top of a hill. His face shone. With a holy light and a will like my heart to see. I know the God left me through misty eyes I could see. The mark of sun, his brow still adorned, while tears hand stretched out to me. I said, Master, did you dot the world with trees? Paint the rainbow and the blue. 